And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door and Vivian sleeping is friggin' adorable. It's heckin' cute. So last time we kind of lost our name and body but we gained a party book in the form of Vivian here. I mean I think we, we, got, we got a good deal there because Vivian is amazing. I mean you say it's a good deal now but um... <laughs> It'd still be nice to have our name and body and party back, especially. Yeah, yeah that's fair. This wasn't the way to go. Actually, there's something that I'm wanting. Let's go back into that room for a second. Let's just let the booze do their thing. I'm not, I'm not going to um, let them completely grab me, but once they start... I do this. Nope. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> away I go. Goodbye. <laughs> now we know what happens. It's like a really, really slow wallmaster. <laughs> yes, J Pop. <laughs> the wallmasters. <laughs> or as I've seen one uh, Let's Player call them, Grubby Man Hands. <laughs> yeah, that's a better name, honestly. omelet anyway because I mean I could get an off omelet just to jump you know yeah. <laughs> also also you must always make Rambos go room <laughs> that reference is, that reference is not going to make any sense to most people probably not but I still think it's amazing the um it's a reference to a video of someone who is Trying to optimize the crap out of Super Mario 64, trying to make trying to make it run at 60 frames a second rather than 30. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey, you get a slick. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's we'll just put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's -a me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. This creep couldn't take us uh, couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with the Shadow Siren. Oh, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You gotta taste the pain, Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. May be good to my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Yeah, our, guy, our teammates are kind of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. Oh, I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? You don't expect any sympathy from us, bullies. <laughs> See, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me. So come out here. So here is the real fight. Uh, where is Vivian? Oh, she's sad that she was helping Mario, I guess. 
I guess that makes sense. And yes, we can attack the party members. <laughs> I would rather not, generally. Yeah. Because they're not, they're not technically doing anything wrong. Yeah. They're just really dumb. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I've... I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Vivian joins the party for real. Yay! Let's see. Power smash. Nice. Don't let your guard down, okay? I don't remember if the party members have the same amount of health that they would in your actual party. That'd be kind of cool if they did. Obviously you can't title them because the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This random water from the rafters. Putting this guy out. How rude. Well, oh, just re reunite, that's fine. <laughs> uh, how dare. How dare you try to uh, do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? For three turns. <laughs> also, wouldn't our allies be suspicious that they're fighting on the wrong side of the stage, if anything? <laughs> <laughs> One would think. <laughs> I've almost had it. Super Mario is hurting. If this game had achievements, there probably would be an achievement for not hurting your uh, party members. Probably, yeah. No, why? How? Ah, uh, Mario! I think if you do beat the party member, by the way, it just cycles to the next one, so eventually, yeah. you, eventually you have to deal with... Um, like the the heavy hitters yeah <laughs> which is uh, not great <laughs> huh rats you kill joys what you ran away i mean wait what the just what the heck is going on here that wasn't the real mario did we get shell winked? <laughs> How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the Shadow Sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Omelette, well, mind your manners. <laughs> well, I... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario. Thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. There we go. Yay! <laughs> I 
This is for you. You got a crystal star for real this time! <laughs> Your star power is now 5, and Marius learned the special move, Art Attack. Item get indeed. Actual end of chapter! <laughs> for real, Jesus <Jesus's> time. <laughs> Mario defeated the rogue who has stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off to his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. Aww. But what about Belden and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger, Duplass? Also, hey, Jewel! Not gonna join me in that course. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Vivian is so very late. Where has a scatterbrain been all this time? Ooh. Hmm. I'm sure that's not implying anything. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured over all, uh, over all of our research at the Thousand Year Door, and it appears that ceiling power has definitely been weakened, as Belden said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen, and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. Soon, I have the power that has slept for a millennium. Soon, so very soon. That glorious day dawns. I will throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the ex not regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. Seems yeah. Nice, <laughs> yeah. You're about to say? <laughs> Did you call me? What shall I do today? Will I be dancing perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I... I am gonna Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order. For protecting a critical person. I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my feelings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. Please? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as you What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Clearly. <laughs> I think the ta the thousand year door, the thousand year door opens there, by That that seems like a good choice. I don't know why I went into a a, a maritime accent for that. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Now the second question: What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the Exons? Probably to become a superhero, right? <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Famous. 
Of yeah. course, you can do both of those things if you conquer the world. That's fair. You know, just rewrite history in your own, in your own image. Okay. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand foot? Ten? Is this? Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? 100 million coins! Obviously. I mean, a rare badge sounds good too. We, we like badges here. I don't know. If it was an extremely rare badge, I feel like Ms. Mouse would probably be after the stars too. Oh, uh, that's a good point, yeah. And hmm. I don't think 100 million coins exist. <laughs> So... I guess my process of elimination, yeah. Yeah. Correct. Now, the fourth question. What does Sir Gross wish to do with this ancient demon soul? Hang out? Hell yeah, that's what I would do with it. <laughs> Hang out with it. <laughs> Something a demon Hang to play D&D &D with you. <laughs> Hang out, play Nintendo. <laughs> Maybe invent an entirely new sport called basketball. No. Uh, <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> bring the demon back to life, most likely. Probably. Correct. <laughs> now, the fifth question. What is required to de to seal up the demon? Uh, I mean, both this? of those first answers would be probably good in a normal JRPG, but this is Pip Mario, so... Yeah, probably we... Crystal Stars, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have spells, per se. We have special techniques. Yeah. And we haven't seen any swords yet, so... Yeah, this is a, <clears throat> this is a Mario RPG. <laughs> Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the community. Ted, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. <laughs> nope, sure wasn't. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm done. Did you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the... Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. You're weird. Bye. <laughs> Good night, Princess Bash. Also, I think they ran out of ideas for the uh, for the princess part. Yeah. yeah. Like we can't really top the ones in the first game, so. <laughs> Meanwhile, what's Bowser up to? My lord! I have received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville! Let's ride the cheap blimp there! Come on, come now! You there! Two tickets! One great and evil king, and one sweet young thing! G -g -g good gravy! Oh, Bowser! The evil king! And a deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. Rude. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. I get it. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? How do you think he's going to get to Glitzville? <laughs> Yeah, it's a cloud copter. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this, baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problem. What? He did? <laughs> I want to yeah, hear this we, story. We fought him there. Oh, uh, okay. I was there. <laughs> you go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. Oh, here. Wait! Lord Bowser, please! Aww. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag candy lunch will go to waste! <laughs> I, that's fine, you can just pick up a couple of hot dogs when you get there. 
Yeah. <laughs> Way more priceless. I'm sure the king of the Koopas can... Oh. Oh. Well, oh. uh... That don't sound good. What's that warning light? No, oh, don't tell me. This is what happens when you check... When you ignore the check engine light on your clown copters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> it's a water level. Oh my god, the arm flailing swim. <laughs> it's so shiny! <laughs> also, that's what happens when, when you die. <laughs> hey, Zero. How you doing? Hey, Zero. Okay, so I can, in fact, use my fire underwater, which makes perfect sense. Yep, totally logical. And also no, burn no. these corals. <laughs> That's not good. Corals are an endangered species. Or whatever. <laughs> it, it's fine. We're, we're the... Oh. <laughs> well, uh... I was pressing yeah. the jump button, or the swim button in this case. What are we here? <laughs> what are we even doing here? <laughs> H2, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. So <Hello>, tiny. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm sure that's inspired. Uh, that game was just a little bit Tyrion. <laughs> I want those coins, even if they don't matter. <laughs> Gotta collect all the shinies. It's gamer's prerogative. I do have to watch out though because there actually is a time limit. Oh, there is. <laughs> Why is there a random X dot here? <laughs> Multiple of them, apparently. Apparently, is that what's happening? <laughs> Dang. Dang. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> oh, dear. I think, uh, I think my voice connection is a little, uh, on the fritz right now. Oof. You okay. just had a little bit more robotic than usual. It's not, it's not terrible. <laughs> that was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's was Bowser the Koopa King? He need us some help. <laughs> oh, little rock hawk hat there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> there you are, Lord Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Sword. <laughs> really? Neat. As for me, Blissville is fantastic. The lights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and then the hot dogs. Oh, my gracious. Yummerly. You have fun, too? Hmm? Bowser. <laughs> Is that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid informed Princess Peach of the Crystal Stars now! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they don't really have much to do at this point, other than just 
yeah, reconnaissance. Bigu. And Bigu yeah, falls, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I I missed it a little while ago, but yeah, this is probably where they got the idea for like Super Paper Mario, the uh, the the super mode that they had in there. Maybe I'll play that someday. You should. It's definitely very different, but it's a very interesting game on its own. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it was fake Mario all the time. So we were all fooled. So sorry, Mario. After you've done after all you've done for our town. Did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I. Mario, such fortitude. You're a true hero. You brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. All I tell thanks you. Hey Mario, we need to get back to Rockport, right? Let's go. Please come back to this anytime you like. Um, and at this point, I'm going to do this. Which, I don't remember if I had it on before. But it's on now. It's a, uh, a redeem called Your Only Friend, which uh, will force me to use a specific partner for 10 minutes unless it is required for story progression. Ooh. Uh, it is double the price of, um, <laughs> of the other one, and I think it can only be redeemed twice per stream? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and stretch a posture. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I have to do it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not uh, you're not bound to the same terms as I am, but uh... I mean, I'm a guest. So I guess I'm. It's kind of like a, you know, un unspoken obligation. <laughs> Except we're talking about it right now, so maybe not. <laughs> an unspoken obligation except when we speak about it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you get it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now the store is open. Like the goods and she sells them. Gotcha. Well, we can actually buy life shrooms. Oh, I think also this is the first time we can do that. Ooh, yeah. I like how they use uh, honey syrup and maple syrup. Same as in uh, the original Mario RPG. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Although they don't go with royal syrup for the last one, because we have a jam and syrup. That's right, yeah. Or jam and jelly. Jam and jelly! <laughs> so jelly about my jam and jelly. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll hold on to that until I have one. Also, I'm not big on things that only um, have a status effect on me. Yeah. Um, we have two life shrooms, so I'm not going to worry about those right now either, but it's good to know that we can actually buy them now. Yeah, useful to know. I do this. Zoom is. Ah, but let go zoom. <laughs> so I didn't think that we would be back in Rogueport so soon. Yeah, that it's really a short chapter. <laughs> like you think it's gonna be really long because you know what the twist is, but then it's like, oh, it's not actually that long. <laughs> <laughs> hey Gonzalez, listen, that must be an email from Princess Peach. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what this legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The Excel Splinter revived this thousand-year-old uh, monster and used its power to take over the world. I have collected the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find this demon spirit, but the only thing that can keep it that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must, lock, you must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, we must put a stop to their horrible plans. Princess Peach. An ancient demon spirit? She doesn't. That doesn't sound good at all. 
Yeah, that sounds bad, actually. <laughs> you can't actually break that, right? You've tried before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that always works out, Zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you just summon demons to do uwu things with and play board oh games my. with them. <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly why I want them the board games. That's the big thing. Also, we can go over here now without yeah. a Having demons to play board games is really the only way you get to play board games. <laughs> ah, yes. This is, this is the hint shop. That's right. You don't need a hint right now. How many start pieces we have? We have 22. So we can buy literally anything. I actually, even if I wanted, like, this is not useful, actually. Not this terribly is, useful, This is no. <laughs> if, you, if you don't want to do the whole tattle thing. But yeah. I find that the tattle thing is kind of part of the experience. Yeah, I agree. Having Gabella sass the enemies is, uh, you know, <laughs> it's part of the fun. <laughs> Chill out is pretty good. Hmm. Um, you get likelier than items over here, hearts and flowers. Okay. Uh, we, I don't really care about this. If, if I run out of other things to buy, then I'll get it. <laughs> even if, even if I don't use them now, I'll get them. Yeah. Happy flowers, uh, something that seems really useful to have and I might, I might actually swap it out from uh, the happy heart partner we have. Yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, what? We have uh, flower saver. I'm gonna get flower saver partner. Kirby play guy would have just gone straight for the power pluses, but uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. a monster, so. <laughs> Different ways to play. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and. I hate that I have to use the stick for this. Um, also, yeah, that's. Yeah, I hate controlling menus like this with a stick, it's always a pain. <laughs> And use half flower. Anyway, since we're down here, we may as well head over to the Thousand Year Door. Fire Drive isn't really that bad. Like, if there's a lot of monsters. It can inflict a crap load of damage, actually. Um, actually, hang on. Can we break this? Yeah, we can, right? Hey! And we can also get this. We can also smash that. And smash that. And I think you do have to do it with a, uh, a spin jump. Now, what's in these pipes? Oh, oh. shortcut. That might have. the great tree. It'll be helpful for completing future uh, troubles. Yes, indeed. And this one probably goes to Pedalbury, I imagine. Ah, this is what this little uh, area is for. Ah, uh, that makes more sense now. <laughs> and that will just uh, go back to the west side of the sewers. Oh, not directly, actually. <laughs> because there's more shortcuts, apparently. <laughs> also, my computer's gonna lag up.
Okay. There are more places to go. Yes, you you are you are <laughs> definitely correct with that. Yes. The game is not done yet. Turns out. You know what? Bring out Vivian. Yay! Just get her dialogue. Let's go. Placing star number four into the constellation. <laughs> What's okay. behind star number four? What will the star map reveal for us this time? <laughs> I legit don't remember actually. <laughs> but it's probably. Oh, okay. It's an island. Then that one's number six, and that one's number seven. Yeah. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. You better hurry, don't you think? We should go up to the, to the professor's office. We have to let him know about the princess's email. Oh, yeah. What? That was written in Princess Peach's email? The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the power of the crystal stars to resurrect it? How bone chilling. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. Might be found out, Professor. Hmm. This is rather long, so you best listen well. Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV. You listen up too. And also in front of your monitors and any other devices that you may be watching this on. Uh, Professor Frankly did not account for this. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Hey, my fourth wall. <laughs> oh, never you mind. Just don't worry about such trivial details. Just listen. The great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood in this very area. It also says the, the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster, and that that thing used the power of the crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. The spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars, which they had stolen from the demon, and they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this I gather the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that whoever, whoever wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for evil or good. I guess we have to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if you found them all, only to have them so stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might be just a, that it might just be better to destroy them once and for all? That was my first thought, too, but further research suggests, suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakened. It seems the Crystal Stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed, sh uh, to keep the door sealed shut will fail. Unfortunately, this year may be the Thousand Year. Bad luck, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> the fact that those goo want the, the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the X-Nots fail. 
Also, it turns out standard JRPG parties are a thing in the Mario universe. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, I guess we better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Why do we start? Hmm. According to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keel Hall Key. Keel Hall Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff. Vengeful spirits, uh, spirits full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. You know, usual. <laughs> Indeed. I'm sure the sea salts down by the hall. by the hall wall. Let's try that line again. <laughs> I'm sure the sea salts down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Actually, you know where we're gonna head first. Uh, actually, let's just make absolutely sure. But I didn't see anything in the waste the waste basket here, which means we have not missed any tablets. Although we had, the, although we did miss the um the spiky. Uh, oh whatever. yeah. Yeah, mm. which we probably go back for, which is probably why it's not in the trash can. But I mean, we can go back for it, or yeah, yeah. there's probably gonna be some in the pit of a hundred trials. That's true, that's true. Oh, Jolene, hey. Did you make the Jolene, Jolene, Jolene joke? I did not. <laughs> so thanks for breaking that up. <laughs> of course, of course, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> but we, we did take on her, uh, her request, though. Okay. Because she did have a request at the end of chapter 3. Some things that can only be understood by fight. Oh, Prince Mush is making a comeback. Hmm. This is the type of star that fans crave. Although she did take a selfie. Oh. Well. <laughs> Remember liking this chapter. Ooh. Yeah, this chapter is cool. Oh, this asshole. Yeah, we're not getting another hot dog for you. You can go to. You can go to Glitzville yourself. <laughs> Fried bouquets are not flowers that have withered and gone, and gone dry. They are flowers that have had the clock of their lives just to take just a little slower. Oh, let's see. Thank you to come visit me again with the above mentioned item. Uh, well, we we have the uh. We have the shortcut now to, uh, mm -hmm. to Helder. So I guess we could do that. I, I was also going to go to the, uh, to the item store and, um, get it out of storage, but, uh, there's also an item store over there, so. <laughs> Yeah, the hot dogs can go eat a hand. <laughs> That's the an interesting recommendation from YouTube, for sure. <laughs> I'm hearing videos from six years ago. Like more the Wolf Link Amiibo trailer? <laughs> It's awfully specific. Yeah. <laughs> Not even try for stage G, just the amiibo that came with it. <laughs> the algorithm works in mysterious ways. <laughs> sure does. Oh, you you give me dry bouquets. Oh, no, you want, oh, uh, yeah, you want friggin' hot dogs, go away. Hot dogs. Well, at least it wasn't as much trouble in here this time. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was meant to give you dry bouquets, but no. You give me dry bouquets. 
four hot dogs. <laughs> Weird trade, but okay. Anyway, we finished the chapter, so we gotta deal with probably three troubles. They always come in threes. Except for There's the first bunch. Yeah, fair. Mm. Oh, interesting. You know what? I think I'll skip over this one for a second. <laughs> Who have you met that cares about badges? I can't think of anyone. <laughs> the Silver Club newsletter. Right, so... Okay. Wait, can I get there from here? I don't think so. I'm getting there. Not yet, anyway. Oh, right. Um, who are we upgrading, by the way? Uh, I mean, my vote should be obvious, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, are we neglecting Goombella again, or are we going to... Uh, I mean, upgrade best girl. I mean, I feel bad for Gabella, but best girl. <laughs> yeah, Vivian. So you got two votes for Vivian. Now, yeah. Gabella has her uses. Gabella um, will, will double shot later when we get enough and can do the, the second upgrade, but uh, yeah. Second upgrade? What are you talking about? Oh, right. That's not a thing, is it? <laughs> anyway, that's enough votes for Viv, for Viv I think. Shazibi! <laughs> Shazubi! Good bet we'll still get plenty of views doing titles, so... I mean, that's yeah. why I want to give her the upgrade. I know! I want to reward her for her service. <laughs> She'll she'll become she'll, she'll get her due eventually. It's just you know, Vivian. <laughs> Vivian. Vivian. <laughs> All right. Oh jeez, we just got a book now. Where you going? Wish I was still a pig. That's a mood. <laughs> yeah. More oh, no. Press Twilight. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, big mood, but. <laughs> I wonder what the traveling salesman has for sale this time. <laughs> Attack effects G, stopwash, Bushi, double pain. Double, double the damage Mario takes. <laughs> Why? Uh, hard mode? Question mark? <laughs> I guess. Left, left, right, right. Up, down, up, down, B, A, start? <laughs> Bazzy is uh, messing with me. <laughs> someone attempted to use the Konami code and failed. <laughs> um, right. I'm going to follow tap. Also, I guess the, the the double damage could get you to in danger faster if that was the thing you cared about. Yes, but at the same time, then you're stuck with it for the rest of the fight before you can take it off. Yes, <laughs> which is a, kind of a problem. <laughs> Hi, Bazzy. <laughs> I, I pretend I didn't hear that. I'm going to bed, Nini. Good night, Bazzy. <laughs> Mega Man, Mario. <laughs> did she say Mega Man? Yes, she did. Let me, no, let me. Uh, if you want Matt, if you want to Mega Man, Zero's playing that on his channel. 
Mega Man Rock Force. Pretty neat game. Uh, banging. Mazzy said goodnight, Jamara. Night for Mazzy. Mario, you accepted my trouble request. My, my, now that's something. I hope you deliver this Silver Club newsletter routing stuff to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but my hip is really proud of me. Did you take it for me? Sure, we can do that. Especially we love helping. Yeah. We love helping the elderly around here. Yes. Uh, also, especially now that we have the shortcuts. Yeah. Doing the thing. There we go. You leave. Do the thing. Push the button, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I was watching the uh, BMST3K channel on uh, Flex earlier, and they had on an episode of the film crew that. Um, didn't age well at all. Oof. Uh, I am not even gonna get into it. Not in the yeah, context but... of this. Uh, not in the context of this uh, stream. Yeah, that's that's probably a good choice. I can, if, if you remind me, uh, Zuzio, I can tell you after the stream. <laughs> Do I even want to know? <laughs> uh, if you want, if you want to know. If you're okay. morbidly cu curious. I, I will consider how morbidly curious I am. <laughs> well, hey there, Martio. Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? <laughs> Why, this is a silver pro uh, club newsletter routing slip. You came here to give me this. Twilight Town's mayor sent you. My last newfound bath there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip needs to go to the uh, Petalburg mayor, but my hernia is acting up. Say now, could you take this to the middle, uh, the mirror of Petalburg for me? I'm counting. Mm. What is this routing slip for? <laughs> anyway, at this point I would be exasperated, but again, we have the shortcuts. Yeah, good thing we found them. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is no shortcut for this bit. Yeah. Oh, it is there. I <laughs> it's up in the sky, come on. How are you gonna get a pipe to the sky? Unless you're playing Mario Maker where people put pipes everywhere. <laughs> including not connected to anything. <laughs> Did I see something? I thought I saw something in that bush. Maybe if I... No? No. It's just me. Oh. Wait. Just need a really long pipe. Murphy! What can I do for you, young man? <laughs> eh? The Silver Club approval slip is up in Puny Alert that old so-and-so. That reminds me, that super blood pressure gauge I bought from her was great. Is that the last one to sign it? It just needs to go back to Twilight Town's here. <coughs> but uh, I seem to have caught a bit of cold. Could take it to the Twilight Town Mayor? Thanks, Murphy. <coughs> so we're going in a big circle. Set the bush on fire just to be sure. Unfortunately, <laughs> I cannot use Vivian's fire ability outside of that. Yeah, the the the, the uh, Petalburg elder doesn't have very good COVID uh, manners. <laughs> well, fortunately, when this game came out, COVID was not a thing. Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, 
actually when this game came out, was SARS a thing? Because COVID maybe. is basically SARS 2. Yeah, maybe. I don't... I think SARS is already a thing. Like, li literally the name of uh, yeah, COVID-19 is SARS-CoV-2. <laughs> so, co COVID-19 is literally SARS-2. <laughs> Unless you Google it. <laughs> Two years after SARS, gotcha. Newspaper writing slip or what? Mayor Pedalberg has a cold. Well, tarnations and diddly dang it's. Oh, but you brought that, this back with you? My thanks, you're sure a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your award, Mario. Please take it. These silver clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan Age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. Ah, <sighs> uh, I have done worse things for 30 coins. In fact, I've <laughs> done worse things for less of a reward than that. <laughs> Damn gig economy. <laughs> right. I guess I could just go above ground here, but eh. Now that we have access to the to the um, quote unquote scenic route, I mean it's some kind of scenic at the very least. Yep, going through the sewer, the sewers is scenic when the sewers is actually the ruins of an old city. And, um... Yeah, the sewers are actually kind of nicer than the town. Yeah, exactly. They're just a little more dangerous as well. Also debatable. A legendary cookbook. Oh, I think we found it, actually. Well, I'm sure Zusty will be thrilled to see us. Two are also surprisingly clean. I mean, it's the rule of cartoon sewers. You're not gonna find real sewer stuff in them. That uh, real sewer stuff. Wait. I forgot where Zesty lives. Or rather, I was on autopilot. Hey, you took on my trouble? Well, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef called Maitre de Lish. Rumor has it you instantly become a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stores don't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stumblebum! So, then, want me to cook something for you, clumsy crush a lot? Oh, damn. Why are you still being so condescending? Like, shut up. Do you, do you actually want me to help you? Did you find that cookbook? Ah, that's it. 
That's the book by Major Delish. Give it here, quick. Ah, I, I see. Aha. I've got it now. Just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. Now that's some book. Talk about effective. Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as your reward. If you needed a book to tell you that you can combine ingredients to make new dishes, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Now I can use uh, recipes that require two ingredients, so just ask me any time. I'm really going to put my soul into it and cook with a vengeance from this day on. <laughs> and Zero was on that exact <laughs> same sentence. Yes, yes. <laughs> hmm. Do you think that using... The maple syrup. I want to exit. Using the maple syrup with a super shroom. Did I get a maple syrup? Is there one? Oh. Uh oh. I think we have a maple syrup. Oh no, we don't. Oh no. We can get one in Twilight Town. I suppose let's go ahead and pick up this. Support our brother and stuff, I guess. Also, where I... is he? We're so excited to support our family. And we haven't, we haven't seen him. Not back here. Oh yeah, Luigi should be around in places. Now we can fall asleep in visible form, too. Damn. It's okay. If ever we get insomnia, we have a perfect cure for it. Yeah, I know for sure we've seen a uh, uh, maple syrup. And if we don't have one, then they're at least being sold here. Yes. Hey. We did do a break, Jewel. Yeah, we did. I don't think you were here for it. Taking out my audience. Now that's what I like. And some extra flower things for the turn. Oh good. This is this is a perfect time for this. Wonderful. <laughs> Increase your coins from 2 to 3. Yay. <laughs> Hmm. 
We're rich! Anyway, let's see if my hunch is correct. Because if we can put honey syrup on a regular mushroom... They're being condescending. Cool. What happens if we put maple syrup on a super shroom? Maple super, exactly hey. what I was expecting. Replenishes nice. 10 HP and 10 FP. Seems good. For that matter, I'm feeling inspired again. And I think we have the stuff for this. If we don't, I'm not gonna bother with it. But I think we do. It wasn't honey, it was maple syrup. And I think we have <laughs> the jam and jelly on hand. Exactly, so. So, Ultra Shroom, and Jam and Jelly, and Ryan McNally. Jelly Ultra. Mm. Uh, good. <laughs> oh, yes. Basically an elixir. <laughs> More or less, yeah. Like, that, that will restore anything you got. And we are probably gonna hold on to that until, like, probably the end of the game. Because that's extremely <laughs> powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Tyrion. <laughs> See, like, at least the chef in the, the first Paper Mario is, like, really nice, even if she's a little, a little bit dumb, but... And then never use it. <laughs> the curse of the too good item. I mean, the best thing that we can do is, like, once we get through the Thousand Year Door and face whatever demon is in there, then we can take it out. Yeah. Seems smart. So what about this mystery? Hmm. An elusive badge. Let's explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Yorkport Square. Poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Wanna take on this trouble? I'm doing right. I remember quickly, we can't finish this one just yet. Really? Hmm. I think we need an ability that we don't have yet. Okay, so how do I get up there again? Oh yeah, do you? Oh, that's where you are. Hey! I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Well, hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Mr. Massage Cutie. I'm the one with the travel. Hmm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can. Uh, I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I feel a bit of return. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that much, I'm sure. 
I went to check that room after I, uh, after I heard you defeat Oaktail, but nothing. <laughs> I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? One has to use the wind. Well, that sounds like a, an ability that we have. That's uh, true. Let's get this out of the way. Well, I, heard, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about th uh, thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? Yes, I guess I do. <laughs> but like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. <laughs> Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found that they had cart, uh, they hold cart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there in the trophy they gave to the winner, it was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then that there. Uh, I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was, was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in car races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The cars were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. So, like, more than 150cc? Man. Like, 200cc? Oh, man. That's almost <laughs> street legal. <laughs> These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. <laughs> so, Mario Kart. Yeah. <laughs> of course I wanted to get out, right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed. But I worked out my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the Big Green Zero One. I took my position at the start line. The light went green, I stomped on the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse! The big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me as hard enough to cut me off and scream. In one fell swoop I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other cars crashed because of my maneuver. <laughs> Once I got into gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won my country mile, bro! I took, off the, I took the piece off of the trophy and added it to the Marvelous Compass. The compass came, uh, came to life and pointed me towards Jazzafras Town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess, random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely, definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair! Oh, sorry about that, bro. And, um, so after that, I got back my boat, and I came back here to Rogueport, and that's what's been up with me. Okay, so what's what's the part of the story he didn't tell? <laughs> yeah, I'm Tork, and uh, don't think for a second that this dude's tell the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig is cause, uh, was because he got on his knees and begged. What happens? He's in for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight again until he repays me the 5,000 5, coin repair costs. Damn. <laughs> Yikes. That's, uh, Yikes. That's more than a person can usually carry. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's go see if this is something that we are able to do now, or if we do actually need something else other than Flurry's ability. Luigi owns a mansion now. I mean, the smart thing to do would be to sell that mansion, but I guess Mario was trapped in there, so... Oh jeez. Oh wow. <laughs> Please stop that. Uh Pedalberg is this one, right? Yeah. I think. 
Yeah. I'm not sure how I avoided that one. <laughs> well, oh. didn't avoid that one, though. <laughs> but we got the first attack. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> also, I noticed that, uh, you actually can't use golf if there's only one enemy on the field. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. The canon ending of Luigi's Mansion is rank D. What happens in rank D? Uh, basically you just get like a shack. <laughs> yeah. Luigi's Shaction. <laughs> I guess in that way it's kind of similar to um, uh, Wario Land. Yeah. Except that the canon ending for Wario Land is the one just below. Um, Crap, I just realized this is not the way to Hooktail's Castle. Oh no. In fact, taking the regular path to Petal Meadows is closer. Yeah. That's a new. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's maybe not the worst idea to burn a little bit of time anyway, because um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not starting the next chapter today, and literally all we got left is this this trouble. Understandable. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thanks for coming by, J-Pop. Yeah. Amy. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna run away just to save time. Yeah. Oh wait, I thought we wanted to waste time. <laughs> I mean, kind of, I guess, but this is not how I want to be wasting time. <laughs> Some wasting time is okay. Some wasted time is not okay. Depends on what we're doing. <laughs> I definitely enjoy the Petal Meadows theme. Yeah. <laughs> and likewise, the uh, the song for uh, for at least the first world of uh, Super Paper Mario. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh, remember, you can uh, request a uh, you can request a long run by spending uh, what was it, ten thousand? Yeah, although now it's fifteen thousand, right? It's fifteen thousand until I finish this game. So if you want to save some points, <laughs> that's how. Okay, here we are. I actually couldn't think of it. No, that'd be too far. I was thinking maybe we can uh, get past that with uh, 
I'm not that tough. Nah. Ow. Ow. Well, I think of you. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and teach the real jokes a lesson. <laughs> they won't soon forget. Randomly get water dumped on us, which I think removes all buffs and debuffs. It's also worth noting that uh, before I play any more long run requests, I've already des decided what my next game is. Oh yeah? I mean, yeah, yeah secret, but yes. maybe you can tell me after. <laughs> Perhaps I could. Or uh, not, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll be a little bit more vocal about the hint for it. Um, when we get closer to the time, but, um... Fair, fair. <laughs> it is currently in the doobly-doo, uh, in the about section Ooh. right now. Takes a peek. We're still not gonna be able to get that. Wonder how you get that badge. In any case, it's probably not the one that uh, <laughs> Ms. Mouse is talking about. Probably not. So she was talking about one that is in Hooktail's room. Did she say Hooktail's room? I thought just just at the castle. No, oh, she did specify Hooktail's room. Okay. Swoop at me, a jerk. Also, I keep pressing the button thinking that I'm using omelette, but no. Ah. <laughs> well, I guess Gosh, I'll tell at least get rid of these books. <laughs> I'm gonna use it as a bit of an opportunity to, to at least regenerate one flower point. No? Yeah. It didn't regenerate a flower point. Wait, what? Oh, oh, heck. Dumb. I agree. <laughs> At least now we don't have to worry about that one anymore. So, wait, what? I'm gonna get up there. Oh, gotcha. You know, that one curse we gave at the beginning of the game. And that the game literally does not let us use anymore. Yeah. <laughs> also, come to think of it. Airplane curses, old dudes. Now, if I... No. I was hoping to uh, 
be able to set up coops here. Yeah, I yeah. I don't think I can. Seems like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Well, at least we can get the last stand partner. Drop the damage your ally takes by half when in danger. Again, that's probably not the badge that uh, Ms. Miles wanted us to get. Probably not. Because that one we could have gotten. Lucky. You know, I wonder something. Oh. Well. This experiment will be right back after this word from these two dragons. <laughs> Or dull bones. This is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> this broadcast wouldn't have been made possible without dull bones like you. Oh, you literally can't get crushed, it just resets. But yeah, that was the experiment. I wanted to see what happens if you get crushed by it. Fair. <laughs> they thought of that. <laughs> they got tired of people clipping in the first Pippa Mario. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not necessarily just a clipping thing, it's just... Yeah, yeah. Like, what do you do in that case? Because the, if you just get crushed, then you probably end up with a game over. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it would kind of have been in an RPG with save points and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the game doesn't really have much of a way to know. Yeah. When, when. Uh, I mean, unless, unless you, like, specifically program it in. Mm-hmm. Ow. Forum. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to switch to the... the shape fist on this one. multi dance. Ooh. Smart. To get, all, to get all of them down to the ground. Ah, let's see if we can get this bingo. Yeah! Yeah. That's how you restore your FP. <laughs> Definitely not the only way to restore your FP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think the stylish for that is you have to do it right when she's coming back up. That sounds right. Dang it. You clearly needed a full audience to end this co this poor Cooper Troopers misery. <laughs> She gets all the hearts for me because <laughs> she's a cutie.
up the spiral staircase. And I almost ended up jumping on this jerk. <laughs> that would have been bad. Yeah. Let's get rid of the spots first. Oh dear. Oh no. I don't know if items can be blocked. Yeah. Oh jeez. The battle's just getting worse. <laughs> Got a coin. Yeah. Which went to Vivian again. <laughs> Vivian is while, popular. While she is sleeping. Uh, well, you know. Ooh. Yeah, I was way early on that hit, too, so... <laughs> Man, the shy guys are just being... absolute pests right now. Yeah, Vivian's just that cool that she can catch things while she's asleep. <laughs> so what am I gonna get from this? Just... A decreased damage from a fourth Koopa. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. So we need the power of the wind, so that's going to be four. Maybe if we go to the center of the room. Oh heck! Ta-da! The badge Ms. Mouse is looking for, but isn't it in attack effects? Huh. I mean, I guess if she's going for a full collection. <laughs> If it's particularly rare, then, uh... Yeah. There we go. Improved defense? Yes. I didn't take any damage, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can, Jewel. Omelette is going as fast as they can. <laughs> Oh yeah, Super Paper Mario does have an item that just lets you go back to, uh... Hub Town, yeah. Oh. That would be nice, yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Actually, wasn't expecting anything, cause, uh... There hadn't been anything for a little while. It's actually okay. faster than go. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's actually faster to go this way than go back to town and take the shark shortcut in quotation marks pipe. <laughs> I actually didn't fall into the water this time. Yay!
Hey, bro. Hi, bro. Hey, Toesworth. Bye, Toesworth. <laughs> that face. Does it mean you found the badge? Sure did. Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. What did you do? You see, I was the one who hit that badge. It was a little game of mine. What? Huh? I have to apologize. But I knew you'd find it, my hands and cheese hunt. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Hmm. I just ne I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, do you, don't you think? Now about that reward, let's see. Take that badge that you managed to find. But I expect you to lead me to more. Mm. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. So we get two new party members today! Yay! <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you could get her until after the next chapter, but I guess I was wrong. Ms. Mouse's abilities are fine. Press X and Ms. Mouse will sniff out any uh, items or objects hidden nearby. That doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff, I'll sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. There's something right near here, sweetie. If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, just like I did right just now. Thanks, that, <laughs> why is this in first person? This this should be the narrator. <laughs> unless the narrator is Ms. Mouse. Oh, plot twist. In battle, I can attack enemies with my buff slap. I can also help you, help you out by using my, uh, my kiss thief move to steal enemies' items. That's how you do that. You solved the trouble. We solved the trouble, and we came out with trouble. <laughs> this house is definitely trouble. Oh, but there's something around. I think she'll Maybe always a... turn in the direction of the treasure. Yeah. Maybe a tile with a star piece? Oh, now you know what it is? Uh, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> but yes, this is how you're meant to find the star pieces. Oh, there's gonna be something that I can't get right, right now, because I don't have something. <laughs> All right. Um. I guess we can. We probably need to go to the docks. We're not starting anything today, but uh, we can set up for it. We set up for it last time. Anything over here in his mouse? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Where is it though? Unless it's something that I'm worried for? Uh, maybe. But it's right near here. Oh, I'm 
really not sure. Anyway. Here in the encyclopedia, huh? Okay. Oh, kill all key. Listen, mate. Don't ask about that place. I, I got no need for uh, cursing the Pirate King. Well, it's the Flavio. Doesn't sail too often. Let's see, he hangs out on Podley's joint on the plaza. Oops. Podley. Podley. On the plaza. Ah, crap, we have to go to Glitzville, don't we? And as far as uh, your commentary, and uh, after two games, we got a thief in our JRPG. Uh, technically, three? Depending on whether you want to count Super Mario RPG. Um, on to Glitzville. Also, this is going to be a little different from. Uh, from voicing Emily in uh, Crosscode, because I, I was trying to use a French accent for her, but not stereotypical French. Mm. Flavio is going to have a stereotypical French accent. Let's go. <laughs> I think I've voiced him before earlier this run. Anyway, I hope that my hunch is right. Because <laughs> it would really suck if we came here for nothing. Yeah. Fresh juice. Because we're not allowed to say alcohol. Oh, no. Aren't you, Podly? Toddler. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh no. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Ah, so close to it so far. <laughs> I guess we'll just never get that one. Never. It's impossible. Where's Polly? In the Rogueport bar? Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Alright, well, uh, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. We're probably not gonna go for too much longer anyway. Bye, Tyrion. Right. Hmm. I just remembered. So, Gumbella, what's the name of this location? Oh, Main Square. Okay. I thought you were going to say Rogueport Plaza. You know, sort of like... I thought for sure that somewhere would say that. Anyway. There he is. And this guy... <sighs> yep. This is Podly. Dot 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 means scram. Let's uh... 
That's news to me. Extraordinary beauty at the Jew shop in Litzville. Hmm. Hmm. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always uh, long for yet more, huh? Beautiful what is accent. missing from my life? The tears at the very insides. I must know, what do I lack? So, what does, what does he lack? Uh... Hmm. Romance, definitely. Okay. <laughs> romance, you say? I suppose one doesn't need some romance in life. What other sweet, delectable fruit could make so many wonderful pasta sauces? Ah, Maybe. no, foolish Flavio, not romance, you say, man. What I need is romance. <laughs> Dang it. Wait, <laughs> hold the horses. That is it. Now that I'm thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance, and thrills, and emotion, and even money. Money? <laughs> Give me your money. Give me your money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure? Hidden on Keelhaul Key? Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez uh, hid his hoard of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned! Oh, this spot, the horror makes my back tingle! People here uh, whisper that the ghost of Cortez attacks all who seek his treasure. <laughs> it is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Kilo Key. But that will not stop Flavio! That treasure is there, yes, and I'm going to prove it! For I am Flavio, tradition, a trader extraordinaire, millionaire, sailor of the seven seas! What is it that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure? Here in Rogue Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpits, uh, armpits of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasures some street church spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes from, comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Oh, well, hand it over. I mean, rather, I mean, show me. You're having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kill Hall Key. You swine! You mean to steal my treasure from out from under me, you awful, awful man? Well, now I am confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. Oh, yeah. But now that I am thinking, a star shaped stone was said to be in Porta's Tower. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash? Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, fears, and emotion. I cannot ignore what business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Kill Hall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Fair enough. Huh? Yeah. You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are thugged. You have no shit? <laughs> <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man! Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. 
Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Dude. Interesting fellow. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> also, big ideas in this person's head. Ah, yes, so it is you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flevion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I can tell you, this proud ship can... Ah, yes? Did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem is that... Uh, uh, the problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgot about it. The SS Flamian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest rank helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keelhawk here are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papach. You can solve our problem? Then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of, of a famous, a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Roadport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty, a uh, salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have, to have the elms, he, he's said to have the um, helmsman's touch, sir. <laughs> ah. But he can make any ship bad as well. Thing is, they ain't a soul of what's seen him at, on the seas as of late. Basa boom! Problem solved! Let us go, uh, scout out this Bobbery fellow and get him on board! As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye aye, sir. Aye aye, sounds good, sir. I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. <laughs> then it is decided. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Well, I think I remember seeing him. And we have a few minutes left. Let's at least let's do this and um that's probably gonna be the last thing for today. Alrighty. Yeah, those load times though. Oof. I don't know if it's a result of um the emulation or emulation accuracy or the fact that I'm using uh, the GCZ format. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I am pretty sure that we saw uh, someone who might be named Admiral Bobbery over in Pelberg. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah. I don't. I know who you're talking about. You're not telling me. Maybe actually he was on the other screen. I know he was on on the far right. Oh, there he is. Huh! I am General White. I am a bob bomb, and I've lost my hopes and dreams. Don't care what I do. Just want to help people. Is that so wrong? 
Okay, so it wasn't. Wait, then where? I thought it was he is, you. He is in Rogueport, Bobbery. Oh, he's in Rogueport? Yeah. Crap. Okay, well. Was that character one from um, the first Paper Mario game? Uh, no, but explicably he will be important later. <laughs> hmm. Actually, maybe I will wait to do that until next week. Because... Yeah, I don't remember exactly where he is. <laughs> that and we only have like two and a half minutes left. Yeah, fair. <laughs> and um, there are reasons why I would want to keep this for next time. Yeah, yeah. But next time we definitely are starting chapter five. Yes. I mean, we literally only have uh, this task to do, and then we're off to uh, heal all key. Indeed. Anyway, I want to end on the uh, on the tile theme, so that's what we're mm -hmm. doing. Hell yeah! I just wish I had a better way of getting to it, because if I if I want to do a save state, then I run the risk of. Um, of if I load that save state, will it roll back my save data? Right, <laughs> yeah. That's and a... So, that is gonna do it for tonight. So I wanna thank y'all for watching. Thank you to Zuzia for hanging out with me. Yeah, it's fun. And uh, thank you to Sengai, Tyrion, J-Pop, uh, Jewel, and Zero. I think that's everyone who was uh, in chat today. Jewel Patat. Jewel Patat. Uh, the next schedule stream is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the co creator stream, uh, which definitely should be happening this time, unlike last week where I ended up getting my Raspberry Pi and working on that instead. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to be working on bumper stickers. Um, Carl, I, I don't know if we're going to be doing some work on the server module, or if we're going to be work, doing some work on the actual game. Possibly both, actually. Hmm. That's, I got a little hung up on... Excuse me. I guess. I got a little hung up on uh, the, the server module uh, today, working on it, so... We'll see what happens, but we're going to be doing some work. Uh, the next stream after that is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the extra long run stream. We're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Uh, some interesting crap going on in that game. Um, political intrigue, I guess you'd call it. So check that out uh, if you're interested. Following that is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle Sunday at... Uh, 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time, we're going to do some Archipelago shenanigans, and hopefully I'll actually get to test bumper stickers. So, um, yeah, uh, so stick around for that as well. And that takes us round week, round wheel, to our next uh, regular long run stream next Tuesday at uh, 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time where we're going to continue our run of uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and get into Chapter 5. I will also let you know, by the way, um, Hurricane Fiona is a thing. Uh, it's going to be missing pretty much the entirety of the US, but has a very good chance of hitting Nova Scotia. Ooh. And has a very good chance of hitting it on Saturday, which means that my Saturday and Sunday streams may have to get cancelled, just to let you know. 
Hopefully not, but yeah. Yeah, it, it is a possibility, but uh, we, we don't have a whole lot of um, hurricanes hit us head on, but it kind of sucks that the last one was like three years ago. Previous to that, the last hurricane to, to fully hit us was Hurricane Juan, which was quite a while back. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I might have still been in school. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that is going to do it for today. Once again, I want to thank y'all for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know, along with Zuzio. Hi. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.